Good morning and welcome. It is Thursday the 25th of August. I am Flatcap Callum. I'm hoping you are all very, very well. All right, coming up today, good news. I had a brilliant dream last night and in the dream I had three horses, double figure prices, um, that all won. One of them was 14 to 1, drifted to 70 to 1 in my dream, but I took the 14 to 1, so missed out on the 70 to 1. Um, so clearly that is a sign our luck is going to change because I've had a dream um, and it will happen today. That's it. Um, so just importantly, disclaimer, it was a dream. It's not reality. Uh, we are on an absolute poor run right now. Uh, a, a poor week has turned into a poor run. It happens. If you've been on the channel long enough, you know it's part of the gig. Uh, this one is, is starting to get a bit painful. Um, we are 10 days losses in a row. Last week was particularly significant. This week... Three days in, we're not quite even a day stake behind. Um, so, you know, it, it's, there's a bit of context there. And we've had a few few things go in, but nothing much with it. Today is a day where I'm going for it. Um, really want to have a good go um, at the Racing League meeting at Newcastle. Um, there's some OK races at, at Navan. One particularly if it still holds to 16 runners um, and they're paying five places. Because as soon as it drops to 15 runners, most bookies will drop down to four places. That, if that holds up, be good. And I've got a few other bits and bobs. So I'm doing steak and a half today. So it's a £30 steak. I'm expecting tomorrow to be quieter. Saturday, hard to tell at the moment. Just need to see where the field sizes get to. Sunday looks quiet. So Friday looks normal. Sunday quiet. Saturday, not sure yet. So today, I'm staking a half. Um, and I mean, particularly if you're using Skybet on the Sunday, or Sunday series, on the racing league meetings, um, that most of the races, they're paying five places um, with... 12 to 14 runners so it's a real uh, good opportunity mathematically to have a go at these and try and find the right ones so I've done it as four lucky 15s and one additional combination bet which I'll come to so before we do that I'll do the review of yesterday but I was going to do the review of yesterday and then I can't even find the papers from yesterday maybe I threw them away in rage I don't know uh, it, but it was 15 on 544 back yesterday we had a tricksy where only the uh, let third leg uh, placed, nothing else did. Um, and then it was bet two where we had uh, a dot, a non-runner because of the cat trick abandonment, and then two places, start for 10 and Ford Mannix Brown. So that gave us uh, 5.54 back for 15 on. So we lost uh, about 9.50 yesterday. And then the Bellystown bet. I really liked it. I hate it. those are the worst ones for me. When I, I'm looking at it thinking I really like that. There's good value in there. I like those horses, and then none of them get close. And two of them came last. Um, it was it was dire. So, what have we got to remedy it? This is what we've got. So, um, I was trying to get the video out earlier. It's been a bit later. It's only impacted a couple of prices, and I've only had one non-run to change. So it's not been too bad. But it's the the first horse of the day is the one that's most impacted. Um, so I've, I've kept it um, in the context of the bet, but 135 Chelmsford, um, Kanahura, 11-2. to two. Um, it, was, it was more than double the price. Um, it's just about still okay. I wouldn't want it to get any lower, but the top two there are no extra place races. Um, so we are getting best price guaranteed with Sky, and the top one could bounce maybe. Um, so Kanahura, 11-2, to two, and then we're at Foss Last for three. So 143, what a whopper. Another one of those unraced two-year-olds I'm having to go out. I think it's got great pedigree, so we're giving it a shout at uh, 33s. Then the 403 Foss Last Night Bear, 18-1. to one. I think Sky are now four. They weren't, but I think they are now, and they're the only ones. And then 440 Foss Last Avery, 25s. And I think quite a few bookies are four. So have a look around. I'm thinking that all bets today are Sky Bet preferable. This one is the just the one that maybe just because this 403 race has gone to four places on Sky when it wasn't last night. Um, so I've done it as 18 pence each way, lucky 15. So it's a slightly smaller stake on bet one. Um, and that's kind of representative of, of the unraced two-year-old and a bit of a bit of a shorter price in for that one. So that's a 5.40 bet, bet one. Then bet two. Um, Sky are five places on all five, of, uh, sorry, all five, all four of these races. Um, so we've got two o'clock Carlisle, Royal Countess 25s. 335 Navan, uh, Church Mountain 12s, 715 Newcastle, Golden Apollo 12s, regular on the channel, 815 Newcastle, Thacky at 14 to 1. Straightforward 20p each way, lucky 15 is bet 2. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, 
Bet free. Uh, again, another straightforward lucky 15. This is all at Navin. Um, so the 3.35 is my preferable race there. Uh, we've got Tia Connor, which we've taken before at 20s. Then I'm having to go at the 4.10 Caramel Lizard. That's been backed in a bit, but 20s is still a good price. And then the, the next two there, they've gone down to 15 runners, and therefore most bookies are only four now, so it's not, not the best. Uh, but we're going to go with 4.45 Guild at 9s and 5.15 Rip Stream at 12s to make that a 20p each way lucky 15 for bet 3. And then bet 4 is the, is the more complicated one. So this is my combination bet. Um, so I've got th my, th my preferable three races with two in each race and I'm going to do doubles, trebles and a couple of singles on the two horses that aren't in the lucky 15s. So let's see if this makes sense to you. Leg 1. 335 at Navan, Tier Connell and Church Mountain. Leg two, 615 Newcastle, uh, Jean Baptiste and Zureg. And then 645 Newcastle, leg three, bring it on Boris and Secret Glow. 12 cross, 15 pence each way doubles. So you put an all six in your bet slip and it is 15p each way doubles. I've done it as 12p each way trebles. And then two, it's a funny amount, it just works out that way, two 27p each way singles uh, to make it up to a round number on Zureg and Secret Glow because those two aren't in the lucky 15s, they're a little bit more risky ones. Um, so that is 660 for bet four. And then finishing off uh, a Newcastle lucky 15. So we go 545 Midra 16s, 615 Jean Baptiste 16s. 6.45, bring it on Boris, 18s, and then finishing off 8.45, Faustus, 17 to 2, and that is another 20p each way, lucky 15, £6 you bet. That makes it up to a £30 stake. I think tomorrow's going to be more of a normal stake, as I said. Saturday might be a bit higher, but I can't tell yet, and Sunday's going to be quieter. So we've had a quiet week in terms of stake output. Um, today looks like the day to have a little pop at it, so... We will do that, but in these racing league meetings, you, you do get some value in the races, but um, trying to pick them sometimes has been a bit hard so far this year well, and, and last year. Um, so that's where we're at. And then for the golf, just have a quick check of the leaderboard. So we've got Fitchart, Paratory and Beregard out. Um, my Danish pronunciation is similar to my, Danish, uh, similar to my Gaelic. Um, so Fitchart's doing decent. He's three under through 12, tied 10th. Paratori's two under um, through nine, tied 15th. And Beregard is one under, tied 25th uh, through 15th. So they're all um, in the in the kind of the top third of players gone out this morning. So, um, yeah, happy enough with where we're at there. The South African market uh, looks quite competitive in terms of where people are at, as does the Spanish one. So we need to have a keep an eye on uh, Fitchart and Elvira. Um, but, yeah, reasonable enough start and early doors on the golf. Um and that is it. So tomorrow I will be back in the morning. Um, and yeah, let's hope my dream last night wasn't just a fantasy and it's a reality. That would be brilliant. A 14 to one shot drift to 70s. Uh, I'll take that. Um, but <laughs> whether that actually happened is another thing. Um, the tide will turn. As you know, I just don't know when. Uh, we're clearly in very healthy profit since the channel started. But if all you've done is the last 10 days, that is not the case. Because uh, you'd be down about six days stake i think so um yeah not not good in the last 10 days um prior to that we're all right but we will jump out of this it's just a question of of when not if um but when you're in it it's just it's just painful and, and you get away you know a week's okay and then now it's like 10 days it just it just sounds a bit of a dampener on everything so even when you get a nice winner or a nice price place if you're not making a profit then it doesn't it doesn't mentally feel um brilliant it's part of what happens. I'm cool with it. What if it doesn't feel nice is when you're putting out tips on the channel. Um, I know the vast majority of you get it, um, and any casual people will come and go, and and that's that's fair enough. Um, for those of you who who are in for the long haul, you you get what I'm about, and you might not always understand <laughs> what selections I've made, but you do appreciate most of the races I go after. All right, I'm leaving it there. See you in the morning. Thank you very much. Cheerio.